What's going on people? Down Shoreham Beach. Finally back out again. Bit of a, well, I technically had it planned to come out Friday. I uh, had a half day at work, but I managed to do some chores around the house and uh, managed to get out today instead. Um, otherwise I was going to be fishing the tide down and I didn't really fancy my chances. But it still didn't give me the motivation to go dig any bait. So I'm on a frozen mackerel again, but I've already seen a knock on my left arm rod there, that one with the orange tip, and that's on the one up one down rig. So I expect it's quite widen. Um, the other rod got a um, big mackerel head just chucked out, probably 30 yards out. So just seeing we can't have a big. But yeah, I'm just happy to be out fishing. So if we catch anything today. It's a big bonus. Okay, just had another knock on both my rods. Um, First it was the left hand rod which is up further and it was the second hand rod but it was about 10 seconds delayed so I don't know if it's just a wave or something like that coming in just knocking and disturbing something in the water but left one looked more aggressive so I think I might take that one in and just keep an eye on that right hand rod just in case there is something big out there when it's like the macro hit. Well, double shot there guys, good old whiting. Probably 10 inches long or so. We're not complaining, it's a fish. But we'll see, if we start getting loads of these, maybe we'll start live baiting them because the water is semi clear. If I find something half that size, it'll be a perfect live bait, uh, live bait size. So we'll chuck these ones back and see if we can find something either half a size or something bigger. Got a hunch now. Really want to catch some small whites in. Got something in my gut telling me to live bait. So that is today's plan now. Uh, get rid of that mackerel head as soon as I get a decent bite into live bait. And it's going straight out there and we're going to catch a bass. We're going to do it. It's almost like things are supposed to be people. Just pulled a bit of line in my fishing box thinking, what on earth that's actually? I don't know, I don't know. see there's a size 2 hook there. I must do big gun hook there. So I'm just going to bait up a small hook, cast it out and hopefully I'll bite him and take this hook. Take it down enough so the must be a big gun that's just hanging out by the top of its head and then if anything comes along it should take the big hook and hook up nicely. I think that's um, a £25 line there but yeah that's a bit strange um, just how I pulled a bit of a line and that big has just pulled out of it so <laughs> oh, see a nice little bass over there so it looks like whiting's on as well. It's time to take it in and have another look. There you go, nothing fancy, just a bit of frozen mackerel, bait elastic on, bigger hook above it, shot on two, just like a running ledger. So I'm just going to whack that one out, as far as I can, just leave it, shouldn't be long till it hooks up a whiting, then it's just a waiting game. So let's do this people. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's literally dumping with rain right there, it's a big divide. No rain, just loads of rain. It's quite crazy to see. Just had the lifeboat come in quite close earlier. Um, it was literally went straight up to the shore here like something was going on. It's gone back out again, so I don't know if there's a training next size or something's happening. Oh, saw the left hand rod bouncing away then. Let's take it in and have a look. Another wise in that time, same sort of size as last time. So it looks like it's going to be full of whiting today. But yeah, we'll get this one on hooks and we'll chuck it back as well. Got this little wave. Lovely guys to swim another day. Just had a 
couple of knocks on the right hand rod so I'm pretty confident there's a whiten on there now so it's a case of watching that one hard uh, looking for slack line I've got the got the spool set loosely so it should pull any line out and just yeah hopefully fingers crossed we can find a decent bass today time for another white in check that orange rod keeps some bats in the way I'm just going to keep helping out all day to keep me busy uh, keep catching take to do no obvious big whites on the right hand rod yet but still early doors and there's another one. Let's get on the hooks. It's bouncy, bouncy again on my left hand rod. All whiting. So literally as soon as I sit down I'm getting a bite. I've been wanting to um, bring my lure rod out and try and catch whiting on a lure. And today would have been perfect. Um, nice clear water, whiting in here numbers. Shame I didn't pick to win it, to be honest. <laughs> but yep, yeah, I'm going to take it in again and let's do another whiting check. Cha ching! Another whiting, same sort of size. Time to reap it up and cast it again. Wonder what they've been catching, eh? Imagine if I had loads of whiting. Um, I think they've been in nets. And there's another flag post pretty far out over. I saw some ones closer in um, down towards Wide Water. But, but I'm guessing that's a good sign. There's nets there. There's got to be fish there, surely. Surely now I want a lifetime supply of whiting, so there's got to be something else there. Left hand rod. Kicks the rest of the way still. So I'm going to take that one in again. And yeah. Let's have another look at some more whiting, I guess. Deja vu, eh? Slightly bigger, maybe. Let's get him back. So I thought I'd check out the live bait rig. See it's working all right. Boom. Massive whiting on there. <laughs> Far too big. <laughs> that one's probably, probably about 35 centimetres long, that one. Nice, decent sized one. Nice eater size. So I'm going to um, let that one go back and cast that again, try to catch something a bit smaller. But, I don't know, you can just about make out the hook just above its head. So it's something where to take that whiting down. But top hook should be nicely in a nice bass mouth, hopefully. There you go. Not bad, I guess. 36 centimetres. Far too big for um, live baiting. So yeah, this one's gonna go back. Nice big eyes on this one. So is that size of my finger over here? Little sort of circumference of your eye. See it's lovely and flat today. Next change, no it's quite choppy. And off he goes to swim another day. Fish on again on the whiting rod. Let's go see. Oh, you guessed it, another whiting. Had a couple of big whacks on uh, the live bait rig. I'm hoping I haven't got another big whiting because they see the size of that. Looks a bit big for a small whiting. Hopefully, hopefully. It's not something big, hopefully it's just a bass chasing something small and it's panicking and also it's got double over. Go on, double over, go! That's a way of saying. <laughs> double shot this time people. Probably about 10 inches long each. Time to release them and cast back out again. I don't know what it is about this live bait rig, but it seems to be picking out the bigger um, whiting. This whiting's actually taken both hooks, and the um, main hook to catch like the bigger fish has actually gone for the top lip of the whiting. So it's still, it'll still hook up a bass nicely. If anything, that's probably perfect. It's nicely lip hooked there. 
So I'm, I'm quite confident the rig would work, but just the whiting's a tiny bit big. So I'm going to um, chuck this one back, cast that again, and hope they try and hook up into a smaller whiting. It's an hour past high tide now. Bites have slackened right off. Fog's coming as well. Don't know about sending pins to do with it. But I was literally getting bites every cast as soon as I chucked them out. But now it's got them rather dead. Um, Gonna kind of carry on fishing for an hour, hour or so. Uh, wait till it drops away completely. And um, yeah, so we can find a couple more fish. Just had my first samasa on the left hand rod for a little while. Let's call it the whiting rod. So I think I'm going to take it in and have a look. Try and keep those fish flowing. You never know, might get a different species. Interesting. Lost the hook. I think maybe the knot might come undone. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think maybe the knot's come undone. But, I don't know, I haven't really had that happen before. Is there something bigger out there with teeth? There's only one way to find out. It's kind of knee hook and get fishing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to buy the full time whistle, I think. It's gone really dead since the tide's turned. No fish whatsoever, no bites. Whiting have completely gone. So I'm going to call it a day. Let me show you conditions. But yeah, I've got um, a week off over Christmas, so hopefully I'll be back down there again. I might even try and come down to the lure watch to see if we can catch some whiting on the lure because it's something I've never done and I would like to try and catch some whiting on the lure just to see if I actually scrap well. Um, also, I'd like to try for some squid, so that's another option I might try. But yeah, a bit of a random fishing trip. Kept me busy for the first hour or two. So I can't complain. Um, just want to say have a good Christmas all and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys.